human rights and specifically media and uh, rights and also freedom of expression. The Digital Economy and Society Minister Chai Wood Tanak Manuson said that he will invite media representatives for talks to resolve misunderstandings about recent media gag orders issued by the government and possible cooperation between the two parties in tackling fake news. He explained that the measures imposed under Section 9 of the Emergency Decree and deemed by the media as an infringement of free expression and media freedom are intended to deal with disinformation or distorted information which may lead to public panic or misunderstanding and are not intended to be a gag on the media. The minister said that he trusts the professionalism of Thai media in the performance of their duties and in the media organizations in regulating the conduct of journalists in line with the media code of conduct. Mr. Shai would maintain that the government has always been responsive to criticism in the media, which is reasonable and factually based, but pointed out that there have been distorted reports, intentional or otherwise, which may affect the government's COVID-19 management efforts. He said that he has always viewed the media as an important tool in guiding Thai society in the right direction and in promoting cooperation among the people during critical moments so the country can weather crises. Last week, six media organizations submitted a joint statement to Prime Minister Prayut and Osha demanding the lifting of the restrictions imposed under the emergency decree, which they said may be abused by the authorities to curb the freedoms of the media and the general public. Meanwhile, lecturers of the Faculty of Journalism and Mass Communications at Thammasat University issued a joint statement via Facebook on Sunday, echoing the call by these six media organizations organizations for the lifting of this media gag order issued by the CCSA. The lecturers pointed out that the wording used in the announcements are vague, broad and prone to abuse by officials to silence all criticism and to penalize those deemed to be disseminating distorted information. They argue that the search for truth by the media, such as the actual number of those infected and killed by COVID-19, and the presentation of that truth to the public in a straightforward manner manner is necessary, even if such truth may cause public panic. They also pointed out that the defamation law and the criminal code is sufficient already to deal with the so-called fake news without the need for additional legal measures. They said that the present circumstances provide an opportunity for the government to educate the public about how to consume media reports intelligently and to use its existing mechanisms to counter fake or distorted news more effectively.